Yeah, we've been really happy the way that the group have re reconnected. We've got back into our work. Um, I guess having a World Cup around the corner in Los Angeles coming up, um, you know, focus the mind. And we've got genuine competition for places, and it's something again we're really looking forward to. We've rested a couple of guys that's played every tournament, so that's obvious. You know, some of those guys will, will go to World Cup. We've got some of the younger players are going to have to start some big games now. You know, so we've got guys in the backs with Kurt. Um, you know, guys like that that are coming back. You've got Leroy who's going to have to start at first receiver. So it's a genuine competition for places. It's only 12 players, not 13, that go to World Cup, so it's one less. So that puts you know, a little bit of a pinch on the squad again. So Louis Orman comes back into the side after a five-year hiatus. Yeah, how good? How has he impressed you this year? Yeah, he's been away, and I, th I think he, you know, he came back and um, asked if he could come in and train. Um, so we were like, yeah, you can come in and train. And just his attitude, mate. He was a great attitude. Wanted to work really hard. Um, and sometimes when you leave Sevens or leave New Zealand rugby and you come back, you realise what you really enjoy. And I think he's a great example of that, where he knows he wants to be here, he knows he loves Sevens. Uh, we know he can play Sevens, he's obviously been in Olympic Games and, and played you know, as, a, as a quality player. So, so we've been really impressed with his attitude and his skill sets in the air and you know, his, his ability to ball play as a forward. It's something you know, that we think can really add to our game. So, so yeah, we're open-minded. Um, you know, we, we genuinely want these guys to go and if, if they can stick their hands up and be the best player, then they've got every chance to be picked for that World Cup.